Have you ever wondered how to add buttons in Google Sheets? So let's jump right in. So insert and drawing. And so once you're in this interface, you can do many different things. You can do things like shapes, lines, text boxes. You can even insert images from upload or Google images. And so I'm just gonna show you the basics here. I'm gonna do a shape. And then I typically do something like a rounded rectangle. Obviously there's plenty of options here, but let's go ahead and just do that. And then I'm just gonna click and drag to set this. And you can always resize later, so don't agonize over this part. And then there's many options here that you can set as well. Fill color, and you can either pick a solid, you can add your own and just type in a hex or RGB, or you can always select a gradient as well. And again, there you can add a custom one or you can pick one. So I'm just gonna pick one like this. And if I click out, you can see it has this black border and so if you want to remove that or change that, you can click on border color. And again, you can add a custom color. You can pick a custom color or you can set one there, or you can also make it transparent. And that for me makes a very clean look. Now to add text to our button, I'm just gonna double click. And then I can just type in, for example, Dwight Snape. And then to edit the text look here, I'm gonna select this and then in a bigger format, this will show up in the same line. Otherwise, you can click on these three dots and then we can set the font options. And so I can select the font and the weight and then I can set things like bold, size, all these other options, okay? So once we're done with that, I can resize this to fit a little better. So kind of make it fit if I want more space around it or not, just like that. And when I'm done, then I can go ahead and click save and close. And keep in mind, you can come back and edit this later, so you're not stuck once you save and close. So once we have it in here, now the first thing is typically when you add a button, you're trying to assign it to a script. So I'm going to right click on this, and then we can see these three dots on the right hand side. And I can click on this, and then I can either go back to edit the image, and I'll show you that again in a moment. You can delete it, you can assign script or you can do alt text. For the moment, let's just look at assign script. So at this point, it just gives us an option to type a script name. So where you would get that from is your extensions and the app script. And then you want this function name. And so I can just copy this. And so you can always do that. Come back here, right click, assign script, and then paste that in and click OK. And so now at this point, this button is tied to that script. And so if I left click on this, it's going to run that script. So if I want to edit at this point, you need to make sure that you right click. So if you haven't assigned a script, you can left click. But once you've assigned the script, you wanna make sure you right click if you want to edit, change, or drag around your button. So you can always unassign as well. Go back to assign script, and click unassign. And now if I left click on this, you can see I have the same result as right clicking when it is assigned. So I could go back and reassign just like that. So what if you have one button and you want to create another in the same style? So you can't directly duplicate a button. It doesn't have duplicate here. So what I have to do is go to edit, select all that's going on here, because you can do more than one element as well. You could do a shape, you could do multiple shapes together, a text box separate. So just select everything that you want to copy. And then I'm going to hit Control C, save and close. And then I'm going to insert a new button. So a new drawing here. And now I can paste. So Control V. And then I can double click in this and change this maybe to Jim. And so I can do different settings as well. I can change the color if I like. I can change the size, all those things. So whatever I want to do there, you can. And then when you're done, you click save and close. And so there we go. There's Jim's button. And so I think this one is assigned. Yep, still assigned. So let's go ahead and assign this one. And this one was Jim's script. So if you remember what the script name is, you can just type it right in there. Click OK. And now if I click on Jim's script, there you go. There's his message. And so this script can be whatever you want in the background. I'm just showing this as a demo. All right, so that's it on today's video on how to add buttons in Google Sheets. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.